Hi, and welcome to another Emerging Tech Bits video podcast. Today we're going to look at an interesting app about birds. We're going to look at Amazon's venture into smartphones. We're going to look at a wearable that claims to give you more focus. And we're going to look at a university library's unique loaning program. Thank you for watching. Bird watchers might want to grab their smartphones rather than their binoculars. There's a new app called BirdSnap that allows you to identify birds by taking a picture. It can recognize over 500 different bird species simply through taking a picture of it. It uses similar recognition software that facial recognition can do. Just tap on the eye and tail and the software will search for field marks that are unique to each bird species. The app not only identifies the birds but also provides associated info like their call and family tree. Currently it's only available for the iPhone but it's looking to expand. So far I think it's fairly accurate after unsuccessfully trying to trick it. Amazon just announced that they have now joined the ranks of smartphone makers with their new Amazon Fire phone which will run on AT&T. Though it will look a lot like the other smartphones out there and do a lot of the same, it runs on its own operating system, the Fire OS, rather than Android or Apple iOS, and it has its own app store. What makes it unique is its new dynamic perspective, which gives your eye the impression that the screen is displaying in 3D, as well as their simple Firefly button, which allows you to use the camera to scan just about any object or writing and get instant info and, of course, instant opportunities to recognize and buy through Amazon. It will also come with the May Day button for instant support. It is set to be released on July 25th, and you can visit Amazon for more info. Last time we talked about some interesting wearables and fitness trackers. There's a new wearable in the works that goes beyond just activity tracking. Spire, an egg-looking clip-on, not only calculates your steps, inactivity, and sleeping, it also promises to track your state of mind. Spire claims to be the first tracker to monitor your breathing and therefore know when you are stressed and not focused. It will then tell you to take a moment and meditate or take some breaths. Once it knows you've settled again, it will tell you that you've gained your focus back. I'm sure we all could use something like this, but do we really want our technology telling us to calm down? Finally, the University of South Florida Library is recently making news with a new program that allows students to loan not books or laptops or tablets, but drones. After having left over grant money, they decided to experiment with circulating drones. However, before students can check them out, they have to be trained in how to use them, they must be regulated for academic purposes, and they can only be taken off campus with permission. Though many libraries aren't close to drone or other expensive tech checkouts, the University of South Florida Library welcomes it as a conversation about the future of libraries and how to serve their community. I will provide the link to this great article below. Okay, that's it. As usual, if you have any questions, feel free to email me or comment below. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter. Thank you again for watching.